Hey yo, what is good YouTube? Welcome back to another haircut tutorial. Um so in this haircut we're gonna be doing a low shadow fade with with 360 waves on the top. So right now I'm just going in with my Andis Masters lever completely open to give it that shadow fade because I don't want it all the way bald. So I go lever completely open. And I'm just going around the head keeping that guideline low. Now I'm coming in with my one and three fourths detachable blade. I am going to take it down to a one and a half. So I just did this just to work my way down to let my client see the length at first. And then he can make the decision whether he wants to take it down low or not. So when you're cutting waves, you want to make sure that you always follow the grain of the hair. Um, don't try to patch it, you know what I'm saying, especially in the crown area. Just make sure you're taking your time and just follow that pattern. why I switched to my Andis Masters is because sometimes in the crown using a detachable is not the best because the blade moves so fast that once you already cut it, it's already cut. If you get what I'm saying, the reason why I switched from that is because it was sometimes the detachables can be too strong of a motor. So I had to switch to something a little, a little less where I can kind of float over here. So right now I'm going in with my number two detachable blade. I know you all can't see it. Um, the best sorry about that angle it's gonna be like that for not most of the video but some parts but I'm just going up and I just going up and flicking out just debulking really yeah. a, -A, a B with the keys Alright, so now I'm using my number two guard fully open, then I'm going to go completely closed. And uh, I'm just going up, flicking out, not trying to put any lines, but trying to just debulk so I can really fade. Um, so I use clipper over comb with big guards to substitute using a number three guard. So I use a number two guard with a clipper over comb, which is kind of equivalent to a number three. So it just saves you time. That's how you save time behind the chair and make your haircuts faster. So I'm taking my number one guard fully open and I'm going up and flicking out. I'm kind of going lever closed and fully open, working with my way in between the guards uh, just to kind of hit the points where I see it needs to be a lever open and then hit the points where I see where I see it needs to be a little like closer. So I close the clipper. Now I have my number zero guard and I'm going in fully closed and I'm going up and flicking out. And as you learn how to cut hair, you're going to learn that you're going to have to do different methods of like lever play just to like make sure the fade is smooth. Lever play helps with the smoothness of the fade. So you can't take a number zero guard over where you did the one guard fully open. So you have to 
adjust so right now I'm just fading out this haircut this haircut has always been difficult for me but if you just follow the steps I promise you're gonna you're gonna master it you're gonna get good at it you just gotta follow the steps don't try to do anything outside of the guidelines don't try to do anything crazy just follow the steps so right now I'm just doing the same thing I'm gonna let y'all watch and yeah I'll come back later. A-A-A-B with the keys. still fading but I'm gonna start to prep the hairline down I'm really just trying to take out all the dark spots I see in the fade um, so right now I'm going in with my number one guard fully open just laying down the hair I actually think that was a zero guard fully open but I'm just laying down the hair just prepping it for the shape up all right so now I like to comb through the hair make sure that every hair is laying down to its full length and now starting with my Anders T outliners, I'm coming in, starting in the middle, working my way to my right side, and then moving to my left side. <laughs> really, you just want to take your time. Don't rush anything, uh, especially with the lineup. It don't matter how long the lineup takes for you to do. Make sure you're taking your time and putting your best quality work into what you're doing. Don't press too hard if your liners are too close. And, uh... You can go over the lineup as many times as you want, as long as your liners are not too sharp. So just take your time, work on perfecting that lineup, and you'll get it. I'm still working on it today. It's not where I want it to be, but I'm still working on it. And this is a fully natural haircut, like extremely natural. Like this is just a regular haircut. No enhancements, nothing. So yeah, if you, you gotta be you gotta be able to do these type of haircuts also, because not everybody's gonna want enhancements. This is a full straight up haircut without enhancements. So with that C cup, I let I like to start at the bottom of the C cup, then go to the bottom, then meet them at the middle.
A-A-B with the keys. Detailing your work is extremely important, so always make sure you go through your work. You can do a lot of clip over comb whenever you're detailing. Just make sure that you detail your work and it'll pay off. So YouTube, this is The Cut. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Help me get to 500 subscribers. I'm going to say that one more time. Help me get to 500 subscribers. I need y'all help. I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe during this quarantine and, and have a great time with your families. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.